Alas, I have risen from my carnivore grave to point out some more controlled opposition nonsense. And if you're unfamiliar with controlled opposition, there are specific people that the mainstream media wants you to like. You know, they tell some truth, but then steer you, guide you in a different direction. A very crude example of this is Republican versus Democrat. They want you to pick a side when in reality, they're both lying to you and whatever was going to happen happens regardless of who you vote for. But uh, let's take a look at this. Piers Morgan ha has been known to be against vegans and he's definitely had some controversy in the past in the, in the context of the climate and the diet stuff. Well, hungry vegans targeted Big Ben today, spraying white paint outside the House of Parliament ahead of Liz Truss's first Prime Minister's questions. The Animal Rebellion protest group says the white paint symbolizes milk and was intended to represent the destruction of a dairy. I, I mean, I thought that's what vegan boys did in private. They sprayed each other with white paint. Maybe they, uh, <laughs> maybe they excreted some tahini from their cucumbers or something along those lines. Industry also represents, of course, petulant vandalism and the destruction of a historic building. It's the fourth day of action from the group. They've also cleared milk from the shelves of supermarkets in four different cities. They say they're aiming to force Liz Truss to negotiating table, but are they in fact just annoying the hell out of all of us? Well, joining me now is a spokesman. Real protests generally get shut down. Th these vegan protests are planned, they're scheduled, they're part of whatever psycho robotic matrix world they're trying to create. These people are allowed to protest. If this was legitimate, if they were actually vandalizing this stuff, they would be arrested on the spot. And there would be no publicity of it. It wouldn't be on mainstream news. Joining me now is a spokesman for Animal Rebellion, Orla Coughlin, who was at the protest at Big Ben earlier uh, today. Uh, good evening to you. Thanks so much for having me. Why would chucking paint all over Big Ben persuade someone like me to give up meat? Yeah, so as you and your viewers probably... Boys, I think we found our... Our new vegan girlfriend candidate, Jesus Christ. Man, I would go vegan for a day just for a kiss. She is, she's actually really, really pretty. Her nose, face, and I'm very impressed. I might, I might have to switch sides. Miss Animal Rebellion Leader. You know, we're in a climate and ecological emergency at the moment. And the accent. Um, and so what we're doing is we're asking the government to support farmers and fishing communities in a transition. How to much a is a flight to Ireland? System, because we know that animal agriculture is a leading cause of the climate crisis. And so if we transition to a plant based food system, we can free up vast amount of land in the UK. We you know, this is one of those really irritating things. And the government mainstream media always do this. They repeat a lie as if it's a fact until the public generally accepts it. And there's so many things that this applies to. You know, red meat being bad for you, saturated fats bad for you, the sun is bad for you. Like the, the general mainstream consensus on what's bad for you is actually the opposite of the truth. There's just so much deceit from these people over dozens and dozens and dozens of years that everyone starts believing it. Like, like it's not like we're gonna go start catching deer and, and killing them for shitting in the woods. Oh, the deer are destroying the environment. No, it's completely ridiculous. Just like saying that cows in a field eating grass are, it's, it's, it's insane. It's insane. That's been debunked over and over and over again. And they use these same arguments with their fake science, but we're not allowed to talk about the climate. I forgot. We can rewild and we can draw carbon okay, down. Okay, look, that's all fine. That wasn't my question. My question is why does chucking paint of a big Ben why does desecrating Trafalgar Square with red dye, chucking milk around Harrods, destroying supermarket shells and so on, how does that persuade me, who already likes eating meat, why are you going to persuade me by being a vandal? Don't get it. Yeah, I think we're, we're in an incredibly difficult position at the moment because we've been... Why are you making it any easier? Because we've been trying to talk about these things now for a very long time. And so we're at a point where we need to escalate protest so we can... And people don't care because you're wrong. You've been protesting. You've been having stinky vegan festivals, which I should go to, by the way. They'll probably crucify me. Gain more media attention on the subject. And you we don't, can you bring don't, I don't know anyone you persuade. I haven't heard anyone go, you know what? I was a meat eater and I saw Big Ben being desecrated, this great monument of this country. And I thought, I know what I'll do. I'm going to go and give up meat and start eating gruel. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard a single <laughs> human being say that. Why would they? I think the purpose of protest is not necessarily to win over people. It's to bring... The to annoy us? To bring these important conversations to the table. 
Yeah, but we know the conversation. You, you're a vegan, right? I'm a meat eater. Why can't we just both live happily in each other's orbit? Why can't you let me just get on with eating meat? And you eat your gruel and we're all go home happy. <laughs> because we know animal farming and fishing are a leading cause of the climate. And crisis. we know having a strictly vegan diet is bad for you as well. Well, that's not true. A lot of science says it's bad for you. That's not true. It is true. Oh. It's, it's so ridiculous. It's so stupid. The, the main reason they don't want people eating meat is because when you have the animal protein in your diet, you're getting B vitamins, you're getting cholesterol. You're not going to get as sick. You're not going to be as weak. Your brain's still going to function. The less meat in the person's diet, the easier they are to control. And they need an excuse to remove meat from the diet. <laughs> you know, the, I mean, the elite are psycho enough, they would probably have no problem telling you straight up that, yeah, yeah, we're going to restrict your meat consumption so we can control you easier. I would be surprised if they're going to do that at some point. But uh, at the moment, they're using this climate stuff as an excuse to do that. What do you eat? I eat... Uh... Do you eat almonds? Almond. Do you drink almond milk? Eat almonds? I think you're digressing from the, the, I'm big, question. the big issue I'm just here. curious what you eat. Would you eat almonds? I'm here to talk about the climate crisis. Answer my question. Do you eat almonds 30, or drink almond milk? 30 million people in Pakistan... Do you drink <laughs> almond milk? ...have been affected Do you by drink severe, almond milk? severe flood. Do you She's like a robot, you know? She's out of touch with reality. She doesn't realize, like, what she looks... She looks like a crazy psycho lady sticking to her script. You know, no person ability whatsoever. Can't, can't have, a, have a normal conversation and respond to what he's asking. You drink almond milk? I drink plant-based milk. You do, you do. And do you <laughs> eat avocados? I eat a plant-based diet. Do you eat avocados? You're asking the government. Do you eat avocados? Yes? A leading study from... Do you? It's, look, it's, it's an interview. <laughs> you don't just answer different questions. Do you eat avocados? I eat a plant-based diet, which do is... Do you eat avocados? <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. Great. Do you know how Flown avocados... Flown in straight from Mexico. Absolutely. <laughs> you do. Yeah. So you realise that in California, every year, for six weeks, they fly in billions of bees to create your almonds and avocados, and in that process, several billion bees get murdered. This is a bee. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is hilarious. We actually did a video on this. Um, I think it was titled, like, Vegans Love Bugs or something, and the amount of insects in, like, all the plant-based foods is actually really, really high. And people always bring up like how many animals actually, when you get into the nitty gritty of the specific details, every aspect of the vegan diet is debunked incredibly, incredibly easily. Right? That's a bee. That, that last time I checked, is a living animal. <laughs> Billions. They don't care about bugs. They only like so dogs and cats. Sitting They're here, cute, cuddly animal lovers. ...in between smashing up our buildings so that you can have your almonds and your avocado. And I say to you, why don't you care about the little guys? Can I say that the... the it's total hypocrisy, isn't it? You don't care about bees being murdered. Will you let me spe speak, Pierce? Huh? Will you let me speak? I'd Why really are you like laughing? It's not funny. I'd like to respond. Bees like getting <laughs> slaughtered and you giggling away like it doesn't matter whilst destroying buildings because you... She, she's broken her... Uh, she's broken her composure. ...care so much about animals. You don't care about the little guys. Do you? I'm laughing because I'd like to answer your question, and I've been brought on the show to answer your question, so I'd really appreciate being... I don't... You're never going to persuade me because I think you're a hypocrite, <laughs> like a lot of vegans I've met. You can all be as hangry as you like and not have meat. I don't believe in the science of a strictly vegan diet. If, if vegan diets work, a lot of animals wouldn't eat other animals. Do you believe in the climate crisis? Yes. Well, the animal agriculture, farming and fishing is a leading cause of the climate crisis. You know what's also a leading cause of climate crisis? Planes which carry vast amounts of your avocados and your <laughs> almonds from California and fly them thousands of miles to your table here in your vegan cafes. Okay. And then they also go in trucks. And that is an environmental hazard too. So you're you know, if she's vegan, she actually, she still looks pretty good, you know? She has a full set of teeth, still pretty. Her soft tissue in her face is good. But a few, few more years of the diet, and, uh, you know, you'll, you'll notice the, the, the negative changes in her, her soft tissue and skeletal structure. And the same could be said at the opposite, too. You know, if she was eating meat, if she was on a healthy diet, her face would be a lot fuller, her lips maybe a little fuller, not as sunk and drawn. And not only are you killing billions of bees, you're destroying the planet. And yet you have the brass neck to sit here in between munching your almonds and your avocados and start <laughs> preaching to me about how virtuous you are about not killing animals. I'm and, pl and saving the planet. I'm like, hang on, you're destroying the planet and you're killing billions of bees. Can I, I don't get it. 
Can I respond? And you're, and you're wrecking Big Ben. Oh, look, as, as much as the guy's, like, funny, he's not letting the girl talk at all or, or really answer any questions, though. The, the first part of the interview was okay, but, like, he hasn't really been reasonable. Because if he just lets her talk and say more, then he can just address the nonsense that's coming out of her mouth. But now he just, you know, sounds like a bully. Can I respond? And Trafalgar Square, and you're b breaking up Harrods. I hear that you're very frustrated. No, I just find it such absurd, like to... hypocritical nonsense. How does he do? I would really like to respond to that. Go on then. So see how like, see how like passive, and she just sits there and takes it. This this grown man yelling at her. He's 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 screaming at her for minutes straight. Screaming at her for minutes, and she's sitting there like, "Can I please respond?" Can I please respond? No, you should be sitting there. Does it hasn't the vegan diet messed up your hormones enough to give you some extra testosterone? You know, to scream back at him. Like, come on, come on. Have a spine. Have a backbone. A leading study from Oxford, which is the most comprehensive study on food and the climate <laughs> that has ever been done before. The appeal has to said authority that nonsense. Animal products. That's farming. Um, animals and and. You think if I go up to her and tell her, uh, like I found a study that. Blonde Irish vegan girls that kiss Frank Tofano live 10 years longer. It's a leading study. You think if I said that to her, she'd go on a date with me? Fishing. At the hopes of kissing me? The leading cause. Is a bee, and it, is and a bee an animal? It surpasses. Uh, it surpasses okay. I'm not finished. Sorry. It surpasses. I see. I, Ola, is a bee an animal? It surpasses. Is a bee an animal? <laughs> Pierce, can I. Is a bee an animal? We don't like bugs. They don't like bugs. All, Ola, is the roaches. All plant based is a bee. <laughs> is the music is so stupid. An <laughs> of course, a bee is an animal. If a bee is an animal, rest? why are you slaughtering them? Why are you not talking about the most important issue that is facing our planet? Because she's getting upset. <laughs> it's not hypocrisy. I meet so many vegans <laughs> who, who, who devour avocados and almonds and don't seem to realize it involves the slaughter of billions of bees. Both <laughs> almonds and avocados are less damaging to the planet. You know, it would have been way better, and I don't mind if he copies this idea, it would have been way better if he did like a spin off of like deer getting ground up in in combines and tractors and started putting like bambi music and pictures of cute little deer i think that would have had more of like yeah bees are bees are like kind of cute but they're still a little creepy and, and they stink people so people don't like them but but if he did this with like a baby deer and and really got into it uh, like mutilating baby deer corpses dead baby deer and that would have been that would have been hard that would have been a good one they're less damaging. And what about how they get flown here from California? What about how they damaging. get trucked across they're Europe? Less, that study in Oxford, is, that is exactly you're what it is the planet. No, Anyway, it, look, it I'm is, starving, it. and uh, you're not going to persuade me. And my response to you destroying all these things is to have a Big Mac. Because you know what? It's a free country, it's a democracy, and I'm allowed to eat meat, and I'm certainly allowed to eat meat when someone who kills bees to feed their avocado habit mines. But we're asking for the government to support <laughs> uh you know i i did actually have some mcdonald's when i was on um doing the best burger reviews and if you drink water kefir and have water kefir grains with your fast food it's not too too horrible but th this is what i mean by controlled opposition you know he the guy makes the vegan diet look stupid and discredits her but then he takes a bite out of a big mac which is, you know, if anything, just as poisonous and horrible for you as a vegan diet. I mean, I mean at least there's some animal protein in there, a, a, a semblance of B vitamins, as you might say. But going the feedlot, commercial, garbage, junk food, American diet, that's that's not the solution. And that's kind of that's kind of the attitude that a lot of these people have. It's almost like a Southern Hick thing, like where they just eat crappy meat and drink beer all day. But... I guess it's better than being a fairy boy vegan. Anyway, guys, I got to start going to these vegan festivals or vegan events again. Even if my life is somewhat at risk, you know, someone swings a giant vegetable at me, I'm going to have to have a ring with me and be ready to propose because if there's any chance of me meeting this lovely blonde Irish girl, I am willing to uh, I'm willing to sacrifice some things. I'm willing to sacrifice some things to say the least. Anyway, it was nice to see a pretty vegan for once. And, and this was kind of entertaining, kind of funny. But it, it's just a really unproductive conversation where she brings up like half of a point and he just brings up like two dumb jokes against it. And it's not a real conversation. There's no honesty and integrity to it. But there will never be because all of those vegan arguments have been debunked over and over and over again. It's just the script they stick to that apparently is 
cunning and deceiving enough to get the majority of the cute and cuddly animal lovers, the naive people, the lower IQ people to follow a vegan diet. So if you guys would like to support me and actually uh, being able to, to reproduce with more than one sperm cell inside your testicles at once, uh, you can check out frank-stefano.com. As usual, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. As I said, guys, frank Uh We just got the glands available on frankiesarrangemeat.com. So be sure to take a quick look at that. Everything's in stock for the most part on Frank East Arrange Foods. So you guys can take a look at all those businesses for some interesting products. I'll see you guys for the next video. Mm -hmm.